is 29 too early for a midlife crisis. Here we go again. My day began like any other, sitting on the toilet scrolling marketplace. And up popped this wee gem of a Land Rover. It was in that minute that I text Miles and asked if we should go look at it. And he responded straight away with a resounding yes. So it was actually a week before we laid eyes on this thing as the owner was quite elusive. But when we finally got there it was plain to see that this was a bargain. I mean, he had receipts and he'd done a lot of the restoration himself. But he'd had it parked up for the last 12 years in his garden and had been towing it around wherever he lived. And he was sad but he said it was time to let it go. So the plan was to top back to my place with this janky A-frame. But more on that later. Oh, fuck. Holy Jesus. Now this is where I go off on a little bit of a tangent and show you how I made a carport to work on and store my Land Rover in. Now that is dedication. Over the last month or so I cut some concrete up in my driveway, dug some holes and poured some concrete with my mate Connor. Yeah, he thinks he's a little bit dangerous. Armed with crocs, short shorts and a shovel, I dug three more holes and chucked in three more posts. And then it was time to place them all in the holes, brace them up and put some pegs in the lawn. I checked everything was nice and plumb with my spirit level and then chucked out a string line to make sure all the posts were perfectly in line. From there it was pouring a quarter cube of concrete in these three holes with the aid of a concrete mixer and a bucket. And then lastly I knocked together some trusses and she was ready for clear light. But back to the main reason you're here. Yeah, so take two, we came back with the trailer this time. The dodgy A-frame almost ended in um, the end of the Land Rover and the end of one of the local bridges. So uh, take two. Once we had her all loaded up snug on the car trailer, it was time to tow it home with the trusty Holden Rodeo. Now this was a short trip. This was only located about one kilometer from my house. Now you gotta feel sorry for my poor Holden Rodeo as this payload weighed in at a solid or well, ballpark three ton. And the clutch on that thing has been flogged since I got it about six years ago. Now back to this amazing feat of teamwork. Between my half ass hand signals, flat, bald, all drain tires, the thing weighing a couple of tons and having no power steering, we managed to get her off the trailer without a hitch. Now, I know some of you in the audience will be asking yourselves, why did you buy another Land Rover? Now, in New Zealand, re-registering a vehicle is a pain in the ass, and this bad boy is still in the system, and the registration's on hold. So all I need to do is plug the lights in, get it started, make sure everything's tight and it's roadworthy, and then take it for its six monthly warrant of fitness inspection. I make all of this sound easy, but I promise you this will be well documented and I'll probably figure out what I'm gonna do with the other one, whether I crack on or make one out of two and then flog the rest as a project to some other poor sod. 